What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. For those who catch the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So I got a package in the mail from Michael Dinsmore. Had no idea what he was sending. He had messaged me tracking randomly the other day. I was like, hey, sending you a package. All right, sweet. You know what that means? Live stream. So here we are. We've got three from him. Grape Ape, which is an original. Apple Splash Hybrid. Apple Brandy on the Rocks and Afternoon Swim. Pretty eager to check this one out. Not familiar with Apple Brandy on the Rocks. I don't recall ever smelling it, but love Afternoon Swim. And then Maximus Absolute, his Creed Absolute Aventus twist. So we'll check those out. We'll wait till around the 10-minute mark. Give everybody an opportunity to be here that wants to be here for it. In the meantime, Signature Aurum, smelling like raw honey and cinnamon. I had it on the on the desk, and I was like, man, I want to wear it soon because, I mean, it's just going to get hotter and hotter. Uh, got home from the gym. Wife had surprised me with this real tree camo uh, Saints hoodie, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to wear that for the live stream. And I was like, what the hell? I'm dressing like it's cold. Might as well spray a fragrance like it's cold. What the hell? So here's my excuse to wear it. If you haven't tried this one yet and you like gourmands, you should. I'm not a big gourmand guy, but when it comes to raw honey fragrances, Elite level. This is elite tier right here, guys. Great performance. Perfectly unisex. I think it does have a little bit more masculine lean considering it's so sweet, honey, like gourmandish. I'm not like, again, I'm not a big gourmand guy, but a lot of amber, spice, um, and then the nutty notes like the hazelnut and almond and stuff like that really counterbalance this thing. A little bit of creaminess, but not so much. It's more warm, resinous, spicy, and then that sticky, sweet, raw honey. This is good stuff. Shout out to George and Claude Deer for. As usual, great, great creation. I don't know what else to say. In my shorts video, I said it's not bias. It's fact. And I don't care who wants to argue with me about it. It's just that good. What can I say? So let's get caught up on the chat. Like I said, we'll wait till around the 10-minute-ish mark. Everybody an opportunity to be here that wants to be here. What's going on, big dog? Hustle hard mode. Hey, man, I live in that mode. Come on now. Ryan, good to see you, sir. Wearing black rose. Speaking of Zahara. Pre-ordered Bloom, Zaharoff Signature Tobacco. Excellent, excellent stuff. I will have on Wednesday full review for Bloom out. Um, my bottle will be here tomorrow morning. I will do that full wearing. I told you guys just to check the production back batch to see how much richer it is versus the lab samples that we went through. Um, I'll do the review, put it out on Wednesday morning, and the plan is to have George on Wednesday afternoon slash evening, and we'll do a live stream, you know, Elaborating on, elaborating on it further. That's the plan. We talked about it a few days ago. As far as I know, we're still doing it. I'll check with him tonight just to make sure. Good to see you, Joel. That's a good one. That's actually a great fragrance, if I'm being honest. That and the Intense, I think, are the two best ones in the Lacoste White line. Gisa Imperial Valley Clone Twist. Spot Ormond Jane. Montebacco Intensive. Oh, hell yeah. You, sir, are winning at life is what that tells me. Mr. M.A. Styles, good to see you, sir. We're in Match Point Cologne. I only have the EDP. I haven't tried the EDT or the Cologne flavor. Two great nights of WrestleMania. Indeed, it was. Shout-outs to the Cody Crybabies. Shout-outs to Mama Rhodes. <laughs> Shout-outs to our new WWE champion who's been making his media rounds today. I've seen a few people on the Internet saying that uh, aside from a few matches, Mania was garbage. I've seen some people complain about Mania. As a whole, night one was eh. They had some good spots. Like, I could see that about night one because Jay and Jimmy was not as good as it should have been. Rhea and Becky, I think, could have been a little better, but was a great opener. Um, things like that. You know, I get that. But night two, the ladder match was phenomenal, by the way. And then night two as a whole was great. Um, all in all, if if you're on the internet complaining about Mania, maybe this new era ain't for you. Stop watching because I'm sure enjoying it. <clears throat> Probably Rosa Ocean. Which one? They got three of them now. I haven't tried the lip parfum yet. Latafa Hayati. Yeet. That's what I'm talking about. Yeet. Exactly. No yeet, too, though. I mean, I like Jimmy, too. Let him know. Let him know. Damn, it smells good in the chat. Julemad Monsul Desir. Never tried that one. I've only tried Aqua Sextius. It's the only one I have. And I have tried Cool Water Intense Mania. You smell great. That's a phenomenal fragrance. Polo 67. I will try that one eventually. Best smelling chat on YouTube. Trey, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I, I kind of think that's the case. Uh, people in this live chat religiously and habitually smell incredible. 
based on what they're telling me they're wearing. I got to say, you guys are always killing the game. Antonio, good to see you, sir. Legend Spirit, speaking of, great freshie. All-time great at this point. Speaking of Montebacco Intensivo, Juan comes right behind it talking about Montebacco Verano, its counterpart. Both great fragrances. Jadster, good to see you. How are you? Signature Rosé, a lot of Zaharoff love in the chat today outside of myself. It's good to see. Kix Griffey's in the house. What's up, everybody? Sin of the day, Dolce Gabbana Gray, the one gray. Okay, good stuff. Still kicks meh, but still kicks Griffey approved. You got the you got the W and the O backwards, but I know what you meant. FDWO Wolf Pack for life. Uh, by the way, making sense came today as well. Yeah, I saw you tagged me in the post. Now, to me, Juicy Maximus is still, if you're going to just get one, that's the fragrance. That's one of the greatest openings I've ever smelled. Uh, his hybrid of Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple and the 13ZZ01 Creed Aventus batch, I think it's phenomenal. He's got other great fragrances. He really does. Both his Prodolome and Prodolome Intense inspirations are phenomenal. His um, his Oceania inspirations, really, really good. Fallen Leaf, all, I mean, it's just like a must-have for the fall. It's like a greatest hits fragrance for autumn. Densmore does great stuff. He said he'd be watching at some point. I don't know if he's here yet, but Michael Densmore does a great job. His hybrids are my favorite. He does some good originals. He's great, got great inspirations and clones. But I got to tell you, when it comes to his hybrids, that's where the that's the money. That's the money shots to me. His hybrids are phenomenal. I'm most excited about the hybrid of these three. <laughs> We're probably starting with that one, actually. Renaissance, excellent, excellent fragrance. Ooh, that's tough. Um, later this week, I'm going to do that video, actually. I just wore Elixir again. I'm going to wear Cobalt. Uh, probably tomorrow, either that or Paradise Garden. The next two days is either Paradise Garden or Bad Boy Cobalt. Those The next two days, I don't know which one's going to come first. After I wear Cobalt one more time in the next two days, I'm going to film that video and break because I really do like the Elixir too. That's a tough call to just get one because the original is in the Elixir, but there's enhancements in the Elixir, but the original is more simplistic and more wearable in many instances. Like It's a tough choice. I'm going to do a versus video. It's got to gather a little bit more. And we have a Roman Reigns crybaby in the house. Somebody that messaged me after with sad faces uh, because he's all about his tribal chief, which they told a great story. you got to admit, Terrence. They, you know, I'll still acknowledge it. They told a great story today. Well, yesterday. Another wearing a reflection, man. It's like medicinal smell. Not really. I've never gotten anything medicinal from it personally. Send of the day, Badass Soap Splash and EDP from Hendrix Classics. Just ordered Vertus 1001 Bengal Monarch and Royal Oris. Well, sounds like you are going on a tear with Vertus. Hell yeah. Apple Brandy on the Rocks is heavy in my rotation. Well, I know that's one of the Killian fragrances that gets tons of love. I believe Justin's a big fan of that one, too. A lot of people like that one. I don't recall if I've ever smelled it. I don't remember if I did. I'm not, I've been in so many blind smelling rates with Justin and or Andrea at some point I may have, and I just don't remember, but I anticipate because of the afternoon swim side of it, it'll be fresh and amazing. Sealed secure wearing Alexandria's afternoon splash. There you go. Good to see you, Roy. Scandal Parfum Cologne. I did see your post in the group today. I ordered Scandal Parfum Cologne, Elysium Parfum Cologne, and Vetiver Parfum Cologne. An expensive but good day with the matching color hearts. Indeed, it is. All five of those fragrances in that Parfum Cologne collection, they're all great. They're all great. That's literally the five I would recommend people start with if you're going to dabble into Raja Dove's fragrances. It's a very accessible, easy to like, great performing line of fragrances. It's kind of a greatest hits version of the house. Good stuff. There he is. Alert, let me know you are live. I am indeed. You are not seeing a recording. This is live and in, in, in person for sure. Let me get caught up in the chat. We're almost at the 10-minute mark. Let me find a good stopping point, and we're going to dive into Apple Splash first because it's the one I'm most excited to check out. So I'm sure you heard me saying about how uh, your hybrids are where it's at for me. Iris Man, his version of Prodolome is spot on. I do have a full review on that one. That one compelled me to do a full review. It was so good. Literally smells like Prodolone, but if you were to ramp up the oil concentration, which takes the brightness in the opening and brings it closer to the skin, but ramps up the longevity and the sillage, it literally smells like that. 
because it's an extrate versus protolome is an EDT. That's how accurate Iris Man is the protolome. It's literally a shift in the way it wears and performs the scent he nailed. Nailed it. It's right here. I think it's still right here. I know the intense is right here. I always keep it right here. Yeah, I always keep it right here to just pull the cap and sniff on. It's literally right here. Iris Man. It's that good. Amazing work. Like I said earlier, one of my favorites that Mike has done. Good to see you, Keith. How are you, sir? Dan, not the man. We're in 9 a.m. dive. So let me find a decent spot. Got to skip ahead a little bit. I apologize, guys, because we're getting to the bottom here. Good to see you, Montrese. Spelled my name right. I appreciate that. Fake news and not my champion. That is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Like I said in the intro, this you could be included in what I said about the people hating on Mania. You don't have to watch. They'll be okay without your view. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have to watch if you're going to complain about it, man. It was some good storytelling. Just because we boys doesn't mean I won't give you a hard time about it. Cry me a river. Cody cry babies, huh? And look, if Roman would have went one, I'd been cool with that. Because I like the story they told. And I'm a Roman Reigns fan, too. I just love great storytelling and wrestling. I'm all good. I'm just kidding. Like I said, I'm just giving you a hard time. Just giving you a hard time. But I'm serious. If you don't like it, don't watch then. So with that said, Apple Splash it is. His hybrid, love the green color too, his hybrid of Afternoon Swim meets Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Again, I don't recall ever trying Apple Brandy on the Rocks. I would assume Apple and Booze. That's what it sounds like, but I don't know. Let's see what I get from it because Afternoon Swim's a lot of orange and musk. That first one was like a freaking super soaker stream with a squirt gun. So if I don't let it dry a little bit, it'll just run down my hand. So give me a moment, please. One moment, please. Darren J., I see you. What's going on, my man? Stone Cologne, I see you, Ken. Hope everybody's doing well today. Let this dry a bit. It's strong. A lot of apple. <laughs> Definitely a lot of apple. It smells good. Ooh. I get a lot of the afternoon swim side of it. That just super bright clean musk like just i can't think of a better word than zest but it's not spice like zest isn't the crisp crisp and the apple could be intensifying that if it's a green apple i don't know if it's red apple green apple whatever but it smells more like red apple green apple's fresher red apple's fruitier this is interesting like in the initial spray i got a lot of afternoon swim and just a mere moment later, it's not at the forefront. Like, I still get a little bit of it. Oh, so it's apple brandy, not on the rocks. Okay, so just apple brandy and afternoon swim. Gotcha. I mean, he's got it all written down right here for me. Very kind of him. And, of course, I dropped it. He's got it all written down on the inside of the box. Very kind of him. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah, he's just apple brandy. I mean, that freshness I got in it when I first sprayed it, it's still overall fresh, but not like I was thinking with Afternoon Swim being part of this hybrid and blend. I think it's a combination of things that Apple Brandy is going to be a little bit heavier and warmer than something like an Afternoon Swim. And then on top of that, Mike goes very high oil concentrations. And that's going to take something bright and airy and weigh it down a bit because he ramps up his oil concentrations. That's one thing I've learned with Mikey. It gets pretty accurate most of the time, unless he intentionally wants to change something, like his Sauvage Elixir, 4.0 Elixir. It's more sandalwood in that one, because he wanted more sandalwood, a little bit more lavender, too. He intentionally tweaks certain things. Iris Man, he was trying to go as carbon copy as he could. Nailed it, too. With something like this, I feel like it's weighed down. Afternoon Swim's weighed down by the combination of two fragrances plus the oil concentration. That's what makes sense to me. It's very fruity, very fruity. It's a little warm and boozy, but I mean, well, I wouldn't call it super boozy, but it's warm. It's interesting. It smells good. It smells good. I think this is probably, if I'm being totally honest here, I think it's because there's more depth here. 
It's a deeper fragrance, not just because it wears heavier, but it's a deeper fragrance. Because afternoon swim, I always want to spray that fresh out the shower because it's so uplifting. On a crazy hot day, it's so uplifting. This is something I would want to wear throughout the day more. Like this is something I could see myself wanting to just spray and go. And this, I mean, it's a let hurt my elbow pop. Just see that sheen? It's like I poured Crisco on my hand. That ain't going nowhere anytime soon. So just know whatever, if you spray your, your neck and everything, whatever's rub, whatever collar, hood, neckline of a shirt, whatever that's rubbing against where you sprayed, that oil's going on that clothing. That clothing is going to smell like this fragrance. Mike doesn't play when it comes to his oil concentration. That is straight up Crisco olive oil. That's extra virgin olive oil right there all over my hand. You see that shine? Point being, you don't get this level of perfume oil and not have a long and strong sillage and trail. <clears throat> That's just naturally going to occur when you ramp up the oil concentration. Let's look at what these notes are. I do have Making Sense pulled up. Let's do a split screen. It's actually on the main page. So our remix interpretation of Killian Apple Brandy and Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim, woody, musky, powdery, vanilla, balsamic. I don't get loads of vanilla, at least not right now, maybe later. Notes of oak, citrus, labanum, cedar, and vanilla. Very simple. Very simple. Idea was re-sparked by our friend Michael. Shout out to Naps and Nurture. I received an order from one of the two fragrances included in this mix. Upon further communication between friends here, we are here we are. I'm so glad because I forgot how amazing these two elements smell together, and now they're available to you. Is anybody interested? It's between 20 and 70 bucks, depending on the size. These are the 17 mLs, which I'm glad he doesn't send me any bigger because I would never go through them, which I, it's, I'll never go through the 17 mLs because most of the time with most of my fragrances, I pull the cap and smell or I do random single sprays because I just can't wear everything in a, in a week, in a year, in a two year span. I can't wear everything. I just have so many bottles that will never be empty, but I have so many great things to sniff on. I would put this up there for sure. Good stuff. So 20 bucks all the way up to 100 ml being 70, which 100 ml, my God, God knows how long it would take to go through that. So if I'm giving this one a rating, just based off the early stages of this fragrance, it offers a twist that makes it its own fragrance, being the hybrid of the two. I feel like that oak, that strange woody notes coming through more. I think it's in that eight out of 10 range of great. It's great fragrance. It is. I think the inclusion of the freshness of afternoon swim makes it wearable enough um, for the warmer weather. Whereas I would not say that about apple brandy alone. The elements I get from that, I wouldn't say that about apple brandy. A little bit heavier of a fragrance. I think the combination of the two, it could be the oil concentration as well, but the combination of the two lends it more opportunity for me because I'm so situational and seasonal more opportunity to wear it in more situations and more seasons overall. So that obviously factors in. We'll go eight out of 10. Good stuff. I'm telling y'all, his hybrids, his hybrids are where it's at. Fallen Leaf is the goat of all hybrids. And this goes for every brand ever, ever. Obviously, it's my opinion. It's my opinion. It's what I think. But Fallen Leaf for Making Sense is the goat of all hybrid fragrances. I stand on that without issue. Let me get caught up in this chat real quick, and then we will dive back to it. Good to see you, Kevin. Brad Womble, good to see you, sir. Jasada Ambassador, I've gotten two making sense, Fallen Leaf, hell yeah, and Workforce, and I enjoy both. Kara, good to see you. Making sense should be called making bangers. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I mean, it's not my choice, but I agree is the moral of this story. Dior 2020 clone is on point. Let's see. I second that. Gives the nose a stunner. Curtis, good to see you. Uh, so far, so good. Send a triumph of Bacchus. First try in WoW. I'm not surprised to hear you say that. I would have been surprised to hear you say not WoW or the opposite of WoW. That I would have been surprised about. I need to re-up some new making sense. Ordered like 10, 10, 17 mLs and a couple 30 mLs. Burned through most of them already. Solid stuff. Definitely good stuff. Dilly, good to see you. The nightmare is finally over. May the tribal chief never return. Oh, come on now. I definitely don't want that. I want Roman Reigns back. I want to see what's going to be the news. Like Triple H said in the post-show conference, the uh, post-WrestleMania conference, new story begins for him. 
I'm ready to see how this is going to unfold. So we're for spot on and quite a beast. Anyone debating on trying Mike's fragrances out, I highly recommend. The Boz, good to see you, sir. Fico Diamalfi from Aqua de Parma, phenomenal. One of the greatest fig fragrances ever made, according to most, for sure. And I would not argue with that. Let's see. Nitro Platinum, supposed to be a hybrid of BR540 and Aventus. I haven't tried it yet. I want to try more of those nitro fragrances, though. Every time I go to make it, I end up restocking something else that moves more often. I will make it within April just for you. Well, there you go, Terrence. There you go. Another Terrence has entered the fray. Good to see you, sir. Wearing Kajal Lamar. So my speaking of Kajal, my bottles of Ohm 3 and 4 have left the warehouse today. So I'm eagerly excited. We will be doing a live stream when those get in to check those out together. I've heard wonderful, wonderful their twist on Tigar the other day. I heard better than vibrato from somebody in the chat. That's not the first time I've heard that. So I'm super excited to check out Ohm 3. And we'll see what Ohm 4 is all about as well. You know, I'm a faithful Roman hater. And see, I'm not a Roman hater, man. He's he's done phenomenal work over the last three and a half years, man. His character is great. He's a phenomenal performer. Phenomenal performer. Javanchi intends the iris in that frag. Your thoughts on that, please. I haven't wore it. I've only worn it one time since I got it. And I'm not able to form an opinion right now. I have to go back to it. In the moment, you'd have to go see what I was saying when I opened it. But I, I haven't done a full review on it. Because I haven't spent enough time with it. So unfortunately, I can't help you out here. Not right now in this moment. Aphrodisiac therapy. Good to see you. Josh, how are you, sir? Sin of the day, not sure yet, but heading to the airport in a bit. Josh was at Mania. What a weekend. Indeed. He got to meet our good friend, the Nigerian giant Omos, as well. And as per usual, when my name came up, the usual, the standard Omos answer, that's my guy, was said. Shout outs to my boy Jordan and shout outs to Josh as well. Insurrection Sport, you see that Cena wants to make a comeback. He needs to lay back on the cartoon character stuff and be a little bit more realistic if he wants to be in this era. Good to see you, sir. So wearing Sidrapoise, excellent, excellent choice. Pacific Chill, speaking of excellent choices. Man. Green leather and ombre tobacco. I've never tried either. Nothing from Daniel Jossier. I've never tried anything. I've heard ombre tobacco would be great. Spray it again. I'm liking it more now. So what is it with you with telling me how much you don't like something then later that day, you're like, you know what? I do like it. This is the second time in a week, Randy. <laughs> that you're like, I don't care for it. No, it ain't for me. Then later the day, you're like, you know what? Kind of feel a little different. He's talking, he's talking about in Mikalev Gin Tonic. He got it today. This morning he's like, eh, skin scent an hour. It's too, it's too crisp for me. I'm just yeah. <laughs> so he was telling me this morning. I was like, I eh, kind of like it more. What was the other one? Was it most wanted EDT intense? Were you like, eh? I got to get to the dry down. I didn't like the opening later that day. You know what? I actually kind of do like it. In fact, Ashton said he didn't like it at first either. Just giving you a hard time, Randy. That's Randy. This past week has been proof that one spray is not going to cut it with judging a fragrance. You can give a first impressions rating, but most of the time, if it's pretty good fragrance, it'll grow on you. Happens to me all the time. Happens to me literally all the time. Like one out of every fragrance haul, there's like that one that I'm like, eh, it's pretty good, but nothing crazy. It'll get like a seven out of 10. It's a very good fragrance, but you know, eh. Next thing you know, I'm doing a full review. It's an 8.5 out of 10. I didn't spend a bunch of time with it and I love it now. Should have happened to me all the time. That's too, it's too hot for that now. Like I'm literally just because I'm lounging around was like, oh, I want to wear this. So I'm wearing it. I'm actually very warm. This is for being thinner, it's very thermal. This is a terrible idea, but I was like, ah, the wife got surprised me with it. Love the real tree camo to it and everything. I was like, ah, what the hell? She bought me a little little surprise gift. I'm aware. I don't have any real tree camo saints hat. Got a bunch of saints hats that are camo, just none that are real tree camo. He does is he does for sure, and that's two of my favorites as well. Definitely the main event last night was my highlight. Hands down. Ralph's Club Parfum, great choice. Good to see you, Bria. How are you? Kudlaj Flora Oud, that's some good stuff. Yeah, shout-outs to, shout to Mommy. So uh, Amos was able to give her um, 
erotica mini mile and i got the confirmation picture and then i was like can i post it and he's like i don't know she left i was like oh, shit so i had to wait like two hours till he saw her again and she's like oh yeah you can post it thank god so I'm, i had made a post um because we both agreed like this is a her fragrance very dominatrix style like that's her gimmick in wrestling that's the rhea ripley gimmick so it was like she would this probably would totally work for her turns out she loves it so new notes erotica mini mal the eagle has landed with demi or better known as rhea ripley and uh she loves it so that was great mommy's favorite reviewer in case you were wondering i'm mommy's favorite reviewer debated on changing my bio on instagram to that might still <laughs> but on that note let's get into another one uh trying to i'm scrolling down i'm skipping ahead guys i'm sorry i want to find a a decent spot to stop so here we go all right i'm gonna stay right there i'm close to the bottom so i apologize i had to skip a bunch but i want to check out his twist on absolute aventus so mikey dinsmore has never steered me wrong when he's tried to make his version of a fragrance usually pretty damn good usually pretty damn accurate so i'm curious we're spraying this one on the rose I get a spray out in the air. There we go. That way I can just, because the first spray is usually like a water gun. I want a little spread to the mist. That way I don't have to do what I did earlier and kind of balance it to let it dry a little bit so I don't run off my hand. So for those of you that didn't see my review on Absolute Aventus, I do think it's a phenomenal release for them last year. I just didn't see the value in buying the fragrance. And I knew a bunch of people would make great versions of it. So that's why I don't have a bottle. I got several carded samples. I never spray it. I got several carded. I got like four carded samples of it. I don't spray them. Because I'll just wear a Ventus cologne. I prefer a Ventus cologne. I still think it's the best of the three. But this very much has that citrus and spice of Absolute Aventus in the top. It immediately reminds me of it. A little tart. As expected, good work, Mike. Getting plenty of that spice too, man. But it still maintains to have that brightness. So it's not weighed down by the oil concentration. He managed to capture a lot of the brightness that they have in the opening of that fragrance. Ginger, pepper. A little sweet, tart and fruity, citric. More fruity than citric. It has that acidic type of citrusy smell to it. I'm not getting a bunch of woods yet, but I'm getting plenty of the spice. Oh, smells great. It smells great. Let's pull up the notes. See what you're working with there, Mr. Dinsmore. Where is it at? Original remix. I don't think it would have been right here up front. Doesn't seem to be. There we go. Maximus Absolute, our interpretation. Creative Ventus Absolute. Citrus, warm, spicy, aromatic, woody, soft, spicy, fresh, spicy, all the spicy, basically. Cinnamon, patchouli, earthy, fruity. Top notes, black currant. There's your tart fruitiness. Bergamot, grapefruit. Mid notes, ginger, cinnamon. There's all the spice. With some cardamom, citron, pink pepper, patchouli, vetiver, ambergris. That pink pepper is probably the light sweetness that I'm getting because most of the time pink pepper is a sweet spice. It can be very aromatic as well. Pink pepper can come across a few different ways, but definitely getting a lot of this ginger cinnamon combo. Probably the cardamom. I'm getting all the spice is the moral of this story. Oh, and I'm here for it. It smells so good. Anybody that hasn't smelled Absolute Aventus, it's an experience to have. It really is. It's a great smell. It's just very expensive, even from discounters, because it did make it to discounters, but it's still hundreds of dollars for a 75 ml. And look, it's worth it for some. I just didn't want to spend the money on it, because when it comes to that DNA, I just prefer Aventus Cologne the most. And I don't feel like I desperately need this, especially since I've got like 8 ml roughly 8 ml of, of Absolute Aventus and a few inspired fragrances, like this one being a great take on it. I don't need it. Would I pass up a great deal on it? Maybe not, but I still don't feel like I need it. Like, I'm not seeking out a bottle. 
Easy, 9.5 out of 10. Just like I gave Absolute Aventus. It smells just like it. Oh, that fruity, citrusy smell with all of that spice. I mean, it's it's fantastic. Again, 20 bucks. Get you a 17 ml just like this. And it's a lot. You don't need many sprays. Mike, if you're still here, what's the oil concentration in these? Because it's ridiculous. I know it's not 25%. It's definitely higher, much higher than that. Because, again, let me pull the split screen down. See that shine? It's like spraying olive oil on my hand. Give it a shine. It put on the color to the red of the rose. Like you got where it's not and then where it is, which the, the color fell out a little bit right here anyway. But that's also the darkest part. But it's it's shining. Man, is it shining. <sighs> so good. And don't even bother getting. Don't spend the money unless you just feel like you have to have it. Look, is the Creed going to be a little bit better quality? Yeah. I'm going to sit here and act like it's not. If you want the original, you got to get the original. If you want the exact experience, that's the way to go. But if you want to, about as close as it's going to get, much more affordable way to go. Here you go. He, he nailed it. Great job, Mike. You get the soft live stream clap. Yeah, I can just keep sniffing on this the rest of the day. It's an addictive smell. I love spicy fragrances. At its core, that's what this is. Like it said in the listing, it is warm spicy, soft spicy, fresh spicy. For sure. All the spice. All right, let's get caught up on this chat because we got one more to go. I saved his original for last. Grape Ape. Call me a crazy person. But I'm going to say it's based around grapes. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am, though. Mr. Maritime today. I've heard good things. I missed, I missed the boat on it, unfortunately. I did want it. Keep an eye out for Beverly Hills Polo Club Aqua. Dior Homme Cologne meets event is surprisingly good. I'm glad you enjoy it, my man. I'm glad you enjoy it. Jimmy Chu Man Ice. Got a decant of Pacific Chill. Wore it yesterday. Stuff's incredible. You weren't joking. I mean, hell, I bought a bottle. I liked it so much. That shit is not cheap. I wanted that more than Absolute Ventus. Really suits my, my life better than Absolute Ventus does. <sighs> I doubt that. I doubt that. Between Omas and Titus O'Neill, I think they got them covered. Because that's the two frag heads in the locker room. Jason, good to see you, sir. Wearing Wulong Cha, one of the greatest fresh fragrances ever. Ever. A big fan of King Maximus. Give me Virgin Island Water, Millicent Imperial, Ventus Cologne, and Royal Oud any day over the... In, hey. You throw in, well, look, let me just say my favorites. Uh, I'm right there with you on Virgin Island Water and Aventus Cologne. Royal Oud is goaded. I don't own a bottle. One day I will. But Original Santal for me, and then I still want to get Original Vetiver. But for now, I'm going to throw Silver Mountain Water in there. So for me, it's, it's man, I love Viking too. They do have a lot of great fragrances. People can trash talk Creed all they want. They got some great shit. They do. They do. All the ones I have are great. I don't have a mediocre Aventus fragrance. I don't. I've got Virgin Island Water. I've got Original Santal. I've got Aventus and Aventus Cologne. I've got Viking. I've got Silver Mountain Water. That's the only ones I have bottles of. I have decants of several others. Tabarone. Eh, it's okay. I have, a, I have a sizable decan of that. I've had a decan of Himalaya. It was good. I just didn't feel like I needed a bottle. I had a decan of Aralfa. It was good. I didn't feel like I needed a bottle. I had a decan of Royal Water and Royal Mayfair in the past. Been putting off getting those forever because uh, I would like to get those. I used to have a decan of Royal Oud at one point. I've been through several rounds of having original vetiver, and now I re-upped on a new 10 ml scent door. Shout out to scent door of original vetiver. So that's holding me off on a bottle again. I got 10 ml, but man. Creed. Viking clone's good. I wouldn't mind getting a bottle of that. Good stuff. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. Like it or hike it. I like that. That's a good term. Like it or hike it. Indeed. Indeed. 40. There you go. 40%. That explains why it looks like I dipped my hand in Crisco. 40% oil. 
Ain't nothing bright in the opening about his fragrances. They're too heavy. <laughs> There's too much oil. It's got to be a really fresh fragrance for it to be super bright in the opening because he it weighs down with that level of oil concentration, but the longevity and the sillage become what make it special. It, people are going to smell you when you walk by. The trail is going to linger and stay in the room. That's what these high oil con that's what a high oil concentration is going to do. It's going to limit the brightness when you first spray it, but it's also going to make the cloud heavy, a thicker aroma that's going to be around you. It might not be a massive cloud, but what you do get is going to be thick. It's going to hang in the air more. The density is, is a lot higher. So that's what you can expect from making sense. You don't need a lot of sprays. You don't. If you don't, if you think it's weak, your nose went blind. Exactly, Terrence. Exactly. Yeah, because that's all you need is 17 ml. It's a lot. Like I was saying, you don't need but a few sprays. You heavy sprayers, you, there's no need with these such high oil concentrations. Mike, you're welcome to come jump on if you want. I'll send you the link. Just let me know. We're talking about your stuff. <laughs> you're welcome to. Uh, that's a couple weeks ago. I'm, I'm leaner than that. I'm leaning. That's before I had got this most recent tattoo and the, the Majin tattoo and the chest tattoo and everything like this. That's a couple weeks ago. I've gotten leaner. I mean, I was uh, 184.4 again today. So I've held that for two days now. Um, still eight weeks out. Abs are coming in more and more. Um, drying out more. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I mean, you clearly see it in my face. Like, got this going on. <laughs> Skin sagging a little bit, more cheekbones and eye sockets and jawline and all that good stuff. So, nothing fits except for the smaller sizes now. Look, luckily I have stuff for when I cut. But I appreciate the compliment, my man. I've never tried the I've never tried Coney Island actually. Forty percent is lotion. <laughs> Just finished eating with the wife at Chili's. Juicy fat burger. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, my man. You done my guy Drew. I think so. I who didn't know that was coming? Me and Dedrick booked that back at like Survivor Series. Before Survivor Series. If you go watch the Sports Desk Live preview show for Survivor Series, we talked about it. Where it's like Drew's gonna win, or if it would have been Punk versus Seth, Seth was gonna get cashed in on. But it was always gonna be Damian was walking out of Mania with that title. When Triple H on the, you know, behind the curtain thing they're coming out, they showed the preview, and he's like, 80% of the card was booked in October. That was part of the 80%. That was never not going to be the case that Damian was walking out with the World Heavyweight Championship. We were waiting, like, where is it at? And then when CM Punk started stomping on him, I was like, oh, here comes the cash in. Sure enough, that was great. That was a great opening match. Really was. Set the tone for the night. Good to see you, sir. Goldfield and Banks, Ingenious Ginger. Great fragrance. Stuff lasts all day. The opening is top tier. Yep. Love the fizzy ginger. That's what everybody loves about it. Yep. Right there with you, my man. Polo deep blue. All the polo blues are great, my man. Excellent choice. <laughs> Wanted to say, hey, going to catch the replay. T. Paul, 96. Sure appreciate you. Thanks for coming in. Hey, right back to you. Great bait brings back to you, Ross. When you spray it, recommend closing your eyes. All right. I will do so. Green Irish Tweet. And see, I, I don't feel like I have to have Green Irish Tweet. I've never been, I've got so many fragrances that smell close to it or twists on it where I was like, eh, go with those. With the Black Rose, hell yeah. What I heard and seems to be true is that Creed have reformulated many of their fragrances and lost their best scent. I mean, a lot of the stuff I have is, is newer stuff with the metal caps and like 2023 batches and stuff like that after the buyouts. And I'm fine. That uh, 50 ml of Aventus is 2023, late 23 batch um, that I gave my son-in-law for his wedding day. No complaints about performance from him on that. My original son, Tall, um, is the metal cap. I get eight, nine hours out of that. So, I mean, I really think people overblow that stuff. I'm not saying that things don't change over time, but I think to the level of which people complain, is stretched what they say is stretched i think it's it's exaggerated greatly he's here in local shop they all smelled the same more or less 
That's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, reformulations happen. If for changes regulations every so often, and reformulations have to happen with certain oils, but they're not intentionally like making the fragrances weaker. They're like, oh, we're going to shave a few percentage points off the oil concentration this time. We're going to fix them. We're going to rip those motherfuckers off. I don't think that's conversations going down in, in these meetings. Agreed. Beautiful fragrance. Has that mothball smell from the eucalyptus, though. But it's it smells sounds terrible when I say it that way, but if you smell it, it's actually great. Yes, it is. Le Bola Parfum is so good, man. I agree. I totally agree. About Damien, because you called it the punk attack. Yeah, the second he went to rub it in punk's face, I said, oh, here we go. Here comes the drama. Especially after him and Seth had that emotional moment when he was walking. I was like, oh, all right. Maybe we're not getting the cash in. And then as soon as he went outside to mess with punks, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what me and Dedrick talked about. Here it is. Punk's going to soften his ass up and Damien's going to run down. Sure enough, that's what happened. Which one? Le Mal Le Parfum? Le Beau Le Parfum? Which one? I'm doing well, sir. I hope you're doing well. Um, it becomes more about a whipped cream, cotton candy kind of thing going on. To me, anyways, it's fluffy, playful, sweet. Not for everyone. I love it, though. Smell bland. Even Santal, that was a surprise. I'm kind of surprised to hear that, Boz. But, I mean, everybody's got a different experience, you know? Yeah, for sure. Original Santal is super underrated. We've been saying, say, yeah, for years. since the, Through two buyouts, we've been hearing this crap. I did not. I was training and could care less. I was in the gym lifting weights. I gave a shit less. After people were like, did you watch? No. When I got home, wife was like, oh, yeah, it happened already. So, yeah, didn't even notice. I was, uh, I think I was doing Roman deadlifts at the time when it hit. Right around two my time, I believe, was the solar eclipse. Like, I did back hamstring the calves there. I can give a shit less about what was going on outside. Once I'm in the gym, I care about what's going on in there. Yeah, I didn't I didn't care. As expected, nothing happened. Everybody freaking out. The world is ridiculous. Newer GIT, and it's close. Got a Vintage Cologne, and it's good, though. That's my favorite one. I think that's the best one. So, with that said, let's check out Grape Ape, shall we? So, these don't roll up too well. Pretty form-fitted cuff. I already have each hand. Well, looks like because that sprays beyond the end. I have to work right over here. They're going to be close to each other. Spritz it in the air real quick. They're going to be relatively close to one another, but a man's got to do. A man's got to Wow, that's a lot of grape. Sharp, fizzy, whole lot of grape. Wow. Oh, man, puts anything that you've ever said smells like grape soda to shame. I'll tell you that right here and now. Any fragrance, Dunhill Icon, whatever, that you've ever thought, that smells like grape soda. If you liked that, I haven't even put my nose to it yet. This is superior. i tell you right now, it's loads of artificial purple grape. Oh, it smells like grape crush. The soda it smells like grape crush or slice or any of those grape sodas. Who likes grape soda? Kel likes grape soda. No, he likes orange soda. Ross likes grape soda. I was fucking that all up. He likes orange soda. Kel likes orange soda. Ross likes grape soda. Man. Is it only grape? <laughs> That's what it smells like. Is it strictly grape, Mike? There's a lot of zest to it. Like, it smells like it's carbonated. Whatever you did, is it aldehydes and some kind of spice? What? How'd you pull that off? Holy shit. This is one of your best fragrances. 
it's always the fun fruity fragrances with Dinsmore where I'm like, holy shit. Just like Juicy Maximus. Damn. It's grape soda. It's grape freaking soda. What do we have here? This is an original fragrance that will bring back memories to many. This is our take on a mix between all the amazing tastes that a child surrounded one note, grape. In our Facebook group, we had a friend slash member ask if this would be possible. <laughs> My apologies. It's all that carbonation. I've been having the sniffles this morning too. So let's see. Here you go. Thank you, Ozone, for being a great part of our community and making this specific quest. Shout out to Ozone. It is a mix of so many memories for me, and I know it will be the same for you. Grape bubble gum, grape soda, no shit. Grape candles of all sorts. Let us take you back to a much more sim similar time. I think he meant simpler time. As you embark on a journey with grape ape. Top notes, grape. You don't say. <laughs> Mid notes of berry. Grape seed. Base notes of Concord grape, ambergris, water, and ambroxan. That's what's doing it. The ambroxan's giving it that fizziness. Grape soda. I'm really fighting a rating right now. Mike, to me. This is your best fragrance besides Juicy Maximus to me. If you don't like grape, you're going to hate this and be like, to say that I'm crazy, guys. I just want to make sure to let y'all know. If you don't like grape, you will hate this fragrance. Purple grape, artificial grape. Like I said, it smells like grape soda, grape bubble gum. All that. Yes, it sure the fuck does. Sorry for that bomb. It is what it is. It's got to happen. The passions are coming out. 9.75. I can't give it a 10. I can't. I got to hold the 10. It took me almost five years to give one, ten, well, over four years to give one 10. Okay. I got to hold it. 9.75 is going to be as close as it gets, which I've only given two of those. This is the third one ever. This I would take over Juicy Maximus. This is now my favorite from you. Juicy Maximus moved to number two with Fallen Leaf being number three. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. One of your originals is now my favorite. Whereas my favorites were your hybrids. I I put I couldn't have put over your hybrids more earlier in the stream. I put them over big time. Because that's how I feel. Your hybrids are where it's at. Make a lot of great clones, a lot of great originals, but the hybrids have always been the bread and butter to me when it comes to your creations. This is the best fragrance I've smelled from you. This is the best fragrance I've ever smelled that has a making sense label on. I love grape. I don't have a bunch of fra grape fragrances. I just don't. This is lacking sorely in my collection, something like this. Grape crush specifically is what I get from this. That was the immediate nostalgic tie. You know how long it's been since I drank a grape soda? It's been a while. These cheekbones don't come from drinking sugar soda. Okay, I'm dieting. Maybe that's why I'm so loving it right now, because this is this sweet soda, bubblegum, candy-like fragrance. And I could sure go for a snack. I get no high day again this week. So I uh, checked in with my coach this morning. I get no no cheat, no high carbs, none of that shit. So I'm itching for a snack. This is an olfactive snack. 9.75. Holy shit. Best of the bunch. All great offerings. Soft live stream clap. Good job, Mike. Appreciate you sending these my way. All three great offerings, but I mean, this is the clear-cut favorite. This is now my favorite from you. The other two don't even matter anymore. Be gone, peasants. That, that's where I'm at with those two compared to Grape Ape. And it's so simple. It's so simple. I keep going back to Grape Soda. Straight up Grape Soda. Unbelievable. Bubblicious grape gum. That's the gum I related to. He, he read the notes. Also includes nostalgia. Nostalgia is the main accord for sure. The grapest of all time. I like that. I like that. Well, 
grapist. Maybe could, he didn't go with that. <laughs> you know, had him on a few days ago, intoxicating. That's number two now. That got bumped by Grape Ape. Yeah, it is fantastic. Yeah, this is Michael Dinsmore's company. He he perfumes it. He does the mixing. I don't have any codes, but if Mike's got something active right now, he'll share it with you. He's pretty good about that. I've never, I don't recall ever even smelling Caragos. And if I did, not then it's not on this level of grape. Called a live stream. Good to see you, Aaron. It's good to hear your excitement about a new fragrance. My scent of the day's light blue summer vibes. Not as exciting. Still great, though. Still great. I moved it out the way to make room for KEDP and tents on the shelf yesterday. My professor suspended class for 10 minutes to watch the peak. The only reason people think it's special is because it doesn't happen often. It's just three masses orbiting each other on a plane. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't care. Like a lot of the world did, I didn't care. I was focused on my workout. I mean, cheers to you, sir. It is fan. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Like, it really makes me want a grape soda right now, man. Oh yeah, he definitely made me pop. I put I'm putting it over big time right now. Mike does phenomenal work, man. He really does. And he's an active member of the community, long term, great guy. How do you not want to support people like that? Sven's got a bunch of his work. That's why you had to close your nose, close your eyes. It's so satisfactory and brings everyone back some special way. It's very much an old school fragrance. Like as a kid, because like you said, I was thinking grape bubble gum specifically, not even Big League Chew. Because uh, with Big League Chew, I think of Toy 2 bubble gum. That makes me think of Big League Chew, regular Big League Chew. Um, but like Deja, downtown Deja Vu from Day 3 Fragrances, it's a freaking mall in the 90s. It totally takes you there too. Um, walking through a department store, the clean linen smell, the Cinnabon and, and smoothies, like it's got all of that. And then you go hit me with this. This is after coming home from Blockbuster, eating snacks, playing whatever video game you rented and watching whatever movie. This is a Blockbuster night. <laughs> That's what this is. This is have a Blockbuster night. Right there. There's your nostalgia. Spray some grape ape. Yeah, no shit. It's making me want a snack. It's, my mouth is watering. It's making me want a snack. Just received Oceania and Oud Lemon Mint today, and I have to say, made two great additions to my collection. They are phenomenal. Unaveraged Sweet Tooth. All the unaveraged ones are really good if you want a good candy fragrance. That's for sure. Leighton and Naxos, excellent choice. Codename Mags, good to see you, sir. Mad respect to Mike. 90s kid and me would love this. I'm all about the 90s stuff, that's for sure. Let's see. Naxos has become my top three scent. What's going on, Noel? Just got done my first day as a zookeeper. My scent of the day today was actually Mercedes-Benz by Mercedes-Benz. Great all-around choice, if I do say so myself. Buying Fallen Leaf for the fall. That is quintessential for me. I don't know if you were here earlier when I was putting it over pretty hard. That's uh, number three. That's in my top three. That was my number one till Juicy Maximus came out. And Juicy Maximus was my number one till this came around. So that's my top three from Mike. This then Juicy Maximus, which is a hybrid. Dolce & Gabbana Pineapple in Aventus Batch 13ZZ01, which is pineapple heavy. Um, and then Fallen Leaf, which is a greatest hits of fall fragrances blended into one bottle. It's phenomenal. Yes, it is, Zach. I totally agree. For years, I was putting that over as if you're going to order something from him, get that. Get that. If you like One Million Privé, if you like Wanted by Night, if you like fragrances like that, those are blended into there. That's part of the five or six fragrances that are DNAs that are in there, by the way. It's phenomenal. It's a must-have for the fall. I have no problem saying that. That's one that gets the blind buy stamp of approval from me. It's not often I'll encourage blind buying that that one. Blind buy that. It's not great for now, but later in the year. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grape apes. Yeah, great apes is what he meant to say, but I get it. Palace Athene, Pico Diamalfi, and Naxos are my top three overall right now. That's a great top three, boss. That's a stunning top three, actually. Every fall fragrance of my own. Miscellaneous items from six different. I couldn't remember if it was five or six. From six different fall fragrances. There you have it. 
that was one of, if not your first hybrid, actually. It's one of his first hybrids. I know that. He made that years ago. And as far as I know, up until the unaveraged line came around, and it might still be, I don't know, but it was Mike's number one seller for a long time. I don't know if it still is, because I know the unaveraged stuff he did with Joe, especially unaveraged patch in general. I think unaveraged sweet tooth really got a ton of sales. If I remember, I remember y'all talking about it on a live stream, but I know Fallen Leaf was hot for years. Fallen Leaf's a must-have for fall. Been through a couple of bottles. It's it is that good, indeed. It's realistic, but it doesn't make me want to wear it. I have a bottle of it. It's very realistic. A lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla, though. Number one's at on average patch. That's what I thought. I thought it was. I was pretty sure because I want to say I remember you and Joe talking about that in the live stream a long time ago when it first came out. Um, like two months after it came out or something like that. Maybe a month and a half, two months, something like that. Everybody was showing support. It's great candy fragrance. Fun night out fragrance, going bowling. All, uh, the fun night out events I talk about, on average, Pat's phenomenal for that. This would be phenomenal for that as well. Now, I'm going to throw number two's Triton. I'll take some credit for that because I put that one over hard for a long time. Still do. <laughs> Still do. It's a great take on uh, on Oceania. It's the way to go. If you don't want to get Oceania, get Mike's version. Fallen Leafs number three. Okay. So I will put this out into the universe, Mike. Has anyone else recommended this option or have you given it some thought to this and on average patch? I bet they would work well together. I bet they would be a great combination. All this grape soda, grape bubblegum goodness with Sour Patch Kids. Basically a grape Sour Patch Kid. Have you? Has anyone else brought that up? <clears throat> I would find it hard to believe no one else did. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Like I would love to. I would love to experience that sour grape candy. Exactly. Imagine it being a grape sour patch kid. That's what it would smell like. As far as realistic, no, because the Jacques Foth fragrance is a little bit higher quality. But if I had to pick between the two, I would take Fallen Leaf. Like if I was just pick one to wear for the autumn season, I would take Fallen Leaf. It's just a more nostalgic, like you think the reds, oranges, yellows, like the whole har fall harvest color scheme, Thanksgiving, all, all of that. I smell grape ape. It's potent. It's coming off my hand more than the other two. <sighs> Maybe my nose just wants to smell that one. Just drawn to it. Charismatic fragrance right here. It's magnetic. Um, I would pick that. Fallen Leaf's phenomenal. I don't know if he ships to Canada. He's here. You'd have to ask him. <clears throat> but, yeah, Mike, I'm throwing it out there. Throwing down the gauntlet. Unaveraged patch mixed with grape ape. We need it. We need it. Probably would be a hit, I'm sure, for anybody who likes any of the unaveraged patches and grape ape. Yes, I shipped to Canada. There you go. Just throwing that out there, Joel. Mike, do you have any active codes currently if anybody's interested in checking anything out? If you don't mind, throw it in the chat if you have anything running. If not, all good. Just figured I'd ask. Well, trying to pin something. There we go. Um, Argos Triumph of Bacchus. It's kind of like red tobacco. It's a much cleaner fragrance. It doesn't have all the smoke and pungence and stuff like that. But it's more expensive. It's better. It's more expensive. I'll easily say that. I would take Triumph of Bacchus 20 out of 10 times over red tobacco. On average, grape. That's what I'm screaming. Have you already started working on that? Is that what you're trying to tell me since you're naming it? Is that already a thing? Hmm? Let me know. I need to know. I need that fragrance, Mike. If that's a thing, I need that. Strengthen my summer collection this year with Kenzo Own Marine and Nautica Voyage. I mean, I ain't going to knock it. I wore Kenzo Own Marine the other day. It's pretty nice. Sorry for the late arrival. It's in the day. Ooh, Fraghead's Asylum from FOMO. Great choice. Great, great choice. Cherished moments. Thoughts. Uh, I'm not familiar. 
Is that one of Mike's fragrances? I don't know. I'm not familiar. Is it? I might have it. I don't remember it. Blue Raspberry Slushy. It's, it's Total Request Live. This is TRL for Making Sense version for fragrances. If and when I make it, you and Joe will get the first two bottles. My man. My man. Naturally, Joe would be first. I would assume his name's on it. You know what I mean? But yeah, my man. If and when, count me in. That's for sure. Orange soda. We call it Good Burger. Love it. Great choice, too. Great scent choice. Love it. I watched Pat McAfee show early. I didn't catch the Today Show. I was on the elliptical doing cardio this morning when the Day Show was running. I tried going to their YouTube channel. I should have just loaded up Hulu on my phone, but I was like, eh, whatever. Ended up watching some stuff on YouTube while I was doing cardio. Let's see, where was I? 20, 30 bucks price difference with red tobacco and trying for box Ross Cove. 30 ml, you only need three to five sprays. But I agree. 30 ml was a long way too, man. That's a three spray fragrance for me. 30 ml was a long way. I've never even heard of a Mio Fuschini. Fuschini? How do you say that? Waiting on Sorghi arrived a few days. I've never even heard of that. Moby Grape. It's a 60s band. Never heard of them. Getting married in the fall. Curious about some niche, classy tobacco fragrances to splurge on for your wedding day. Hmm. That's a great question. Tobacco specifically. Wedding formal. Man, I would encourage you to check out Creed Tabarone. It's an aromatic tobacco. It's more of a barbershop. It's very gentlemanly. I don't know if you want to go that route if you're looking for a sweet tobacco. I would think for a wedding you're not looking for sweet tobacco. I mean, you let me know. But Creed Tabarone, that's an elegant tobacco. Something like that or signature tobacco from Zaharoff, that's, that's some elegant tobaccos. Hmm. I mean, there's some really good ones out there. If you want to go sweet, Royal Bourbon from Plume Impressions. And then Argos Triumph of Bacchus. If you want to go the route of Sweeter. Man. There's some good ones out there. I hear great stuff about Ombre Tobacco from Daniel Jossier. I've just never tried it. I've heard phenomenal things about it. Bonnie, excellent choice, Danielle. Good to see you. I am planning on getting it. Uh, the brand, well, the... PR company for the brand reached out to me the other day. I filled out the form. I've gotten, I got a Ralph Lauren backpack sitting right there. They sent me Polo Blue Parfum and Polo Red Parfum a couple of months ago. So they offered it up. I'm hoping it shows up soon with a little hat. Everybody's been getting all like, I'm, I'm sure hoping I get the PR from. That's why I haven't bought it yet. It's like they've offered it up and I filled out the form. I just haven't seen any tracking or anything. So I'm just kind of holding tight before I just go spend the money because I'd hate to buy it and then a bottle shows up in the mail. I don't need two bottles. Now that still may end up happening. And in the event that happens, I'll just do a giveaway with the other bottle because I don't need two bottles. Point being, yes, sooner than later, I will be getting a bottle because I definitely want it. I'm a big Ralph Lauren polo guy. It's like my favorite kind of, I guess you call it mid-level designer brand. And I don't just mean fragrances. I mean, as a whole, like clothing and everything. I love Ralph Lauren polo. Always have. See, I don't remember that one. I may have it. I just don't remember it specifically. No, I definitely don't have it now that you describe it. I've never smelled that one. Masculine orange and vanilla. I mean, outside of Ultra Zest and fragrances that smell like Ultra Zest, nothing else really comes to mind. And nothing really comes to mind outside of things that smell like Amen Ultra Zest. Papa Rabanne Ultra Red Man. Um, Mince Camuto Solar. Fragrances like that. So I'm skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, I was pretty far behind. My bad. Manhattan would be a good choice for a fall wedding. Excellent choice. That one didn't pop in my head at all because you get a little bit of florals. With it as well. Great idea, Jason. Raja Parfums Manhattan. That would be splurging because that's not cheap. Even from discounters. You're going to spend a couple hundred bucks. But it's phenomenal. My bottle's over there. Fall wedding. I like Jason's suggestion. That didn't pop in my head. 
I'd rather that over Creed Tabernacle for sure. That's elegant, not too sweet, not too spicy, not too floral, but it's got a little bit of all of it. Go with that. That's definitely a splurge. You're going to treat yourself with that one. You can create memories. Got that white enamel plaque. It's elegant on the bottle. It's got the jewels in the cap. Like the presentation's elegant. The scent profile's elegant. Great job, Jason. I'm totally with you on that. I've never even heard of them. Infinitude. Infinitude. House of Bull. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Ultra Red Man. That's a lot of people are going to think that one first. I'll say I love Polo Red, Red Rush, and Red Parfum. I mean, Burlington goes for everything, right? You could do that in the, in the fall, too, actually. Burlington's phenomenal. Still have not found a true ripe orange natural smell when I buy oils, or I would attempt to pump that up as well. The ones that perform are mostly synthetic. If fresh, I'd pump it up and mix. Makes sense. Well, I mean, that's an understatement, my man. That's an understatement. The reason I haven't bought that bottle yet is because, you know, every month or so I do a collaboration with So Avant Garde and I get a list of fragrances I can choose from. And in, in every time, as of late, French Defense is excluded, excluding the Queening French Defense and I forgot what other one from the Two Mind Games collections. I'm like, shit. <laughs> every time. So I will, if I have to buy it, I'll buy it. But I will have a bottle eventually. But I'm kind of biding my time to see if I'll be able to do a PR review. Because I definitely want to. It is one of the greatest fragrances I've ever smelled. Holy shit, is that amazing. And I'm not really that big of a cherry guy. But pff, blew my mind the first time I smelled that with Dedrick. For those of you that saw the video. And then now I have, uh, I think it's 7 or 8 ml of their Amber Olfactive kit. I have some. I have several sprays of it. It's kind of hoarding them. But I want a bottle. If I don't have to buy it, I'm not going to buy it. But if I have to buy it, I will buy it. I'm very honest with you guys, as you can tell. I don't know if too many other content creators that would just sit here and say, I got a chance to get it for free. I'm going to get it, but I'd buy it if I got to. I don't know too many people having that conversation. At least I don't watch any of them anyway. So <laughs> I don't watch too many people anymore. Mostly live streams and my friends and stuff like that. Outside of that, I don't really watch a lot of fragrance content because I constantly make fragrance content. So that's the last thing you want to watch if that's what you do all the time, right? I would like to get Orage would be the next one. Brian, Brian, Scent of the Day Nitro Red. I plan on getting that in the rotation this week. Bottle's literally right there. I plan on getting that in my rotation this week too. <clears throat> I don't think. I don't think it is. Who's confusing you with that opinion? Because it's got honey? Because it's the sweet tobacco? Who told you that? To that person or persons, it might it must be. Get a get a, one of their little box 2ml samples. They sell little box samples, Zerzoff, and try it for yourself. There's a reason it gets way more love than whatever nonsense you read. It gets way more love than it gets BS. Not everybody likes it. I get it. That's every fragrance. Not everybody likes every fragrance, but Naxos is that's, that's elite tier stuff right there, man. Resurrection 2 Emperor. Porto Neroli. It is indeed. It is indeed. No, no, because I, I picked double attack. <laughs> that's what I got coming. I picked double attack, which I've smelled. Beautiful. I'm not a big chocolate fragrance guy, but that one's damn good. That one's damn good. I got very blockade. In that one, which very in blockade. Oh, God, if I could recommend two fragrances more. Holy shit. I love mango. That's not a secret at this point. I like mango more than pineapple in fragrances. And, and blockade's like my favorite mango fragrance. It's a Ventus plus mango and pink pepper, basically. It's so good. In very, you get fresh green and slightly earthy with bright, bright citron citrus. Oh, very, such a great green, fresh fragrance. Man, mind games, they're expensive as shit. But man, are they good. Man, are they. I've yet to try anything mediocre from them. Unbelievable. I've tried about a dozen fragrances from them. None of them are mediocre. Some are obviously better than others. Fall in line with vibrato. Um, 
specifically vibrato, not that I'm aware of, but Tigar, are a bunch of them. Tarathi Blue. Um, uh, and, uh, it's funny to say, uh, because I uh, make them say, uh, from Master P goes off in my head every time I do that. I've had people comment that when I say it too. Um, from Paris Corner and North Stag Collection, that's really good. Black Panther from Alexandria, I hear is phenomenal. I've never tried that one. Uh, Afnan's Theorem, well, Rubroka, but it's Afnan. Is really good as well, but that's specifically twist on Tigar. Double type. Oh, you typed it again. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame you. <sighs> so good, man. That Abroxan setting in more. It's not losing that pop, that vibrance, that what I was calling carbonation. It's, it's fizzy. It's so bright. I think that's perfectly suitable to say. I, I agree with that completely. Never tried that one. Yes, it does. Right over my shoulder. Oh, this way, right there. I wore it a couple nights ago. Love wearing it out the shower. It's so bright. Ormond Jane Montebac went to until May 2024. I want to get it at some point. I'm not in a big old hurry. My bottle of Invictus Parfum finally shipped today. Finally. I ordered that on Dedrick's live stream last week. <laughs> Just shipped today. Finally. So, eager to check that out. That's the downside to all these good things that, you know, designer releases that I'm interested in is I'm buying a lot of fragrances at retail lately because I'm wanting to get them as soon as I can, you know. I've been buying a lot of them. Boss Bottle Triumph Elixir is not here yet because it's coming from overseas, but that's on its way. It's in route. 9.75 out of 10. High praise right there, my man. I'm not going to argue with it. It's phenomenal. Like I said, that's elite tier tobacco right there. Hindu Kush and ooh, Blue Notes. Loving Blue Notes right now. Hindu Kush is very different. See, Hindu Kush never moved me to get a bottle. I used to have 2 ml or 3 ml roughly in a decant, but... Um, Ood Blue Notes, I think, is one of the most underrated from the brand. And for those of you wondering, speaking of Mancera, I didn't film the video yet. It is coming out this week where I'm ranking all 40. It's just to dedicate that much time because that's a few hours right there. Raw footage I'm going to be filming for probably an hour. Just filming. Then the editing process. Rendering that big-ass 4K file. Then uploading that big ass 4K file and all that good stuff. We're looking at several hours, and I don't do crazy editing and graphics. Still time consuming. Um, it's just to dedicate the time to do that video, but I will have that out this week. I wasn't able to get through it for the weekend because I was too focused on WrestleMania and everything else going on with that. Hugo Boss, Boss in Motion Silver. Yes, it is. With the red with heavy vanilla. I haven't tried it yet. I want to get the green and the blue next. I see where you're coming from. Gary's probably my favorite mind games fragrance. It's top three for me. Literally, I just named my top three. French Defense, Blockade, and Viri. <laughs> the only one I don't have, which I have the Trap Latomizer, is French Defense. I will get it. That's to me, that's the that's the mountain. That's the mountain for uh for mind games. To me. But that's my top three. Your your favorite is definitely in my top three. Because that's the thing, once I try all these discovery sets and it comes around where I can pick a bottle, I'm like, oh, I would definitely want that bottle. That's what happened with Viri. I had got one of the olfactive sets, and Viri was my favorite in the set. So when it came around and I could pick a fragrance, I was like, I'll take Viri. Thank you very much. I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Fragrance Buy restocked it the other day, too. First time I've seen it in stock in a long time over there. Esteban, good to see you, my man Selly. How are you? Got to try Neon from Tomas Cosmala. One of my new favorite mango scents. See, I love trying the mango scents. Anybody that's never tried Joe Love Mango Thai Lime, I can't wait for summer to roll around. That's going to be back in the rotation. Beautiful. Lime Mango Pepper. Magnifique. Chef's Kiss. I've never tried that one from ATH. It's at by the volleyball gym right now. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Making sense samples being delivered this week. 
So we're hour 15. We'll go another 15 minutes, get to the hour and a half mark, and we'll shut it down. I love just chatting with you guys. Uh, somebody mentioned it a moment ago. I am poor. You're rich in, in size of heart and love, Kyler. That's what we'll say you're rich in, sir. Matar by Spirit of Kings. Very For me, very black current, smoky, heavy, Aventus. Really good. There was a time when that was my favorite twist on Aventus a couple years ago. There you go. My man's looking out. All right. I don't recall if I've smelled that one. I don't recall smelling it. Yes, even if I'm trying to go quickly, let's call it two minutes of fragrance. That's 80 minutes of raw footage plus intro and outro and the in-between of me clearing my throat and switching fragrances. That's going to be more than 80 minutes of raw footage. It's going to be like at least an hour and a half of raw footage. And I asked people, y'all sure y'all want me to do this? It's going to be a long-ass video, and several people have said yes. So y'all got to show up for me. That video is going to be time-consuming. I damn sure don't want it to bomb. Because when I re-ranked my top 15 the other day, Mike, it wasn't good enough. Where's this one? Where's that one? I thought you liked this one. I thought you liked that one. What about Ood Lemon Mint? I can't believe Ood Lemon Mint's not in there. How could you not put this in there? It was... So I got 40 bottles from in Sarah. We're going to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite, or my least favorite to my favorite. Top 15 is already made out. I just got to put them in place. But I got to rank the other 25 behind it. <laughs> That's going to take some time, too. Just setting up for the video is going to be a process because I'm going to be like, but with, but I like this. It's going to be a lot of that. So the setup process is probably 30, 45 minutes. Just trying to figure out what's going to go where and moving everything to over here. And it's going to be between this area and this area. If I just move the laptop, I'd probably just do it all right there. But that video is going to imagine if I had like crazy graphics and editing, how long that video would take to do. Man. Less is more with me, <laughs> you know. You come to my videos for me, not the fancy graphics, right? Good to see you, sir. Explorer, so that man sent me an Ita Libre Deron's discovery set that he messaged me earlier sitting in my P.O. box. I go to the post office on Wednesday, so I'll be grabbing that Wednesday. We'll be talking about that here soon on the channel. See, there's somebody very eager about it. Thank you, Kara. I appreciate that. A lot of time and effort's going to go into that one for sure. Growing on me. Let me buy when it runs out. I have not collected. I mean, there's a ton of them I haven't done stuff with. Tons. You know how many fragrance content creators there are? It ain't just a few. It ain't just a couple dozen either. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't want to collaborate with tons of people. You know, I'm at the point where if I'm not friends with you, I'm fuck you. People can take that how they want. I'm just. This community's jaded me so much that I'm just pretty much sticking with people I've made a friendship with. I don't want to do random stuff. I'm not saying I won't make new friends along the way, but you won't see like, hey, we just started chatting. Welcome this person on my channel. That shit ain't happening no more. That's over. That's over. I ain't doing it no more. Been burned too many times. I ain't doing that. This community has jaded me too much. Now, I'm not saying I'm not open to some people that I would like to work with and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's pretty much, I said this the other day, it was like a week ago, week and a half ago, I mentioned this on live stream. Pretty much if you see somebody on my channel, they're my actual friend. I've built a friendship with them. There's a bond there. I've either, it's been building over a long period of time or I've actually been around them in person and it's beyond just an online thing. You know, That's pretty much where it's at with my channel. As far as coming onto my platform, I'm open to a lot of different things on other platforms. It's a time thing. I'm I, with bodybuilding has made me super busy prepping for this contest because I train twice a day now, and I have a very strict meal plan on top of that. So I'm just I live tired on top of my content schedule. So right now the window for that is very very small. Plus I'm always doing stuff with Dedrick. I got more stuff in the works with with Justin. I always do stuff every month or so with Justin. Uh, end of the month and beginning of next month, we got our, you know, one on my channel, one on his channel streams coming up. We got some topics we're going to do. I got George again Wednesday. Tomorrow, the plan is me, Randy, and Dedrick. But we got to see if my package makes it to Randy in time. Sent it out several days ago. It's taking its good old time, USPS. Priority mail two-day my ass. Sent that shit out like five days ago. 
was like Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday of last week. So might have to move that stream. The plan is tomorrow. I didn't set it up yet. Um, I know this is a very long winded answer, but figured I'd just give you all the info. There's a bunch I haven't collaborated with, but there's a bunch I just I'm not interested in in the first place. You know, it doesn't seem like it. Sure doesn't seem like it. I've been wanting to try that one. Love the green color too. Love it. And again, I mean that this clearly you're building upon what you typed the first time, but um, not specifically. I'd like to do more stuff with Angel. You know, outside of that, he's hard to get on YouTube to do something live. As far as Instagram, it would it would have to be Instagram. I would think. But like I told him, I said, who's making a dollar on an Instagram live between me and you? We need to do something on, on YouTube where it's monetized, Dick. Whether it's your channel, my channel, I don't care. <laughs> One of us got to make some monetize, some ad revenue here if we're going to do that. Just keeping it real with you guys. It's monetized. This is what I do. We either go on my channel or your channel. I'm cool either way. Somebody's got to make a few bucks out of this. What, what the hell else? Are we, why, why wouldn't we? Um. But that's somebody I'd like to do more with that I haven't done much with. I haven't had him on my channel in a long time. I had him in a collaboration, a bigger collaboration video years ago, but I haven't done anything with Angel in a long time. For those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, Kubano, shout out to my guy. Uh, I'd like to do more with Angel. Need to do more with EQ. Been a while since we did anything. Um, shout out to my guy. They took his Instagram from him. These algorithms, they get it wrong that he's selling fake fragrances and he's not selling anything he's posting his scent of the day photos that's that's what his instagram is so they took it from him again for good this time bullshit it's happened to too many of my friends at this point <clears throat> i don't even know who that is oh okay noted never smelled it Ooh, grape ape. Easily. 9.75. Smells like grape soda. Like actual grape crush, grape slice, and grape bubble yum gum. And it's holding strong with that smell, too. Love it. I don't have pearl. That's one I don't have. Every time four fragrances, Oud Wood's my favorite. That's a lot of people's favorite. I forgot how stunningly handsome you are, considering I've never seen your face. So here's the thing. It's either this or it being like right here because on its stand, that's where it ends up. It could either be off to the side of me hanging or covering half of my face because with the Blue Yeti, you have to talk into the side of it. You can't talk directly towards it like to where I have it angled towards me. I tried that when I first got it. It sounds like shit. You got to talk towards the side of it right here. I'm sure you all can hear me tapping on it. No matter how you switch it around, <laughs> that's what's got to happen. So this is the what I come up with with what it's going to be. It's just going to be on camera like this. Um, and I lean towards it a little bit to get the best audio because really I need to talk to it like this. If I you know, speak a little softer but close to it, kind of how Justin does. Justin's got the same microphone. A lot of people have this. Blue Yeti is the most popular podcasting microphone. Um, it's what most people have that don't spend a bunch of money on a mic because they're like 130, 140. They're not crazy expensive. And um, that's what I got to do. And, you know, I've had some people have the nerve to give me a hard time lately in my recorded videos about my audio. And it's like, man, go to an ear nose. I literally told one dude, you need to make an appointment with the ear nose and throat doctor. If you think my audio got worse because it didn't. Now. On these streams, different, but my re my recording software and everything, as they say today, uh, stop the cap, as they like to say, instead of just saying you're lying, stop the cap, right? How corny do I sound saying that shit, right? Definitely not my, my lingo. Let's see. Where was I? Percival, your signature scent at this point. Okay. Great choice. Scrolling down. I got, I could care less. That's who I got. Not my thing. Not a college basketball guy. 
point in the community. It's like being in a brand. I'm friends with Seven Dust. Shout out to Seven Dust. I'll always remember they said their number one, one number one word of advice: play with people you are cool with. Yeah. Eh. Eh. It's like I got so much going on. I just try to focus on my own lane and people that want to be my friend and have proven to be my friend. You know, I hate investing time in the wrong people that are only in it for different things and have ulterior motives. Ulterior motives is the biggest problem for me. That's why it's just like, like I said, I'm open to new friends. I'm cool with that. You know, I'm cool with talking with people and building something there, but as far as jumping on my platform that I put my heart and soul into and years and years and years and countless hours of my time into, it ain't for everybody to jump on. This is my baby right here, which y'all have clicked on. This is my baby, all right? It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody to watch. I'm not for everybody. And it ain't for everybody to jump on me with, jump on with me. It's just what it is. I put too much into this to just let everybody have take part. Nope. We're hanging out in my yard right now. I was telling y'all guys the other day, beware of dog when you jump in my yard. Exactly. My circle's much smaller than it used to be. Have a good one, Neil. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got I got plenty of people that I made friends with. Shout out to Joey, Joe, Danimal. Like I did. Obviously, George, Dedrick, Justin, Andrea. I mean, the list goes on and on. There, I got several people I'm friends with. There's many people that are welcome on my channel uh, that have been on my channel. It's just as far as just like new random stuff. I'm very skeptical. There's a wall up. You know, there's a wall up at this point. Yeah, shout out to Angel. I, look, I tried twisting his arm to get him on here. He doesn't want to do YouTube lives. He's done a few. He did one with EQ. I pulled that card a while back, and he's like, yeah, but it was because it was such a dope, you know, rap battle kind of thing, which I get. I did one of the Versents, too. I totally get it. Such a great concept. It was literally taking open mic night rap battle with fragrances. It's basically what EQ did with that. Shout out to my man EQ. But if you want to catch Kuba live, you got to catch him on IG. That's where he likes to do his live streams. And I pop in and say hello all the time. We, we still chat all, you know, pretty often. He like said, that's my guy. That's somebody I'd like to do more stuff with. So y'all feel free to twist his fucking arm. I'm, I work on him here and there. I don't bug him too much about it when we talk. But once in a while, I throw it out there. All right, motherfucker, we need to do a live. It doesn't have to be on my channel. I prefer it to be. But we need to do something one of these days. Let's riff, you know. By all means, twist his arm. <laughs> Biggest in the game. That's my guy. I'm not a ball sprayer, but I'm a ball sprayer at heart to represent for my guy, who's now a double play button guy. Shout outs to him. His jewelry channel hit 100K last week. So he'll be getting his second play button. Cheers to him. Two play buttons. He built that jewelry channel quick. Oh, like three years, four years, something like that. He got 100K. You just found EQ recently? That's my that's man. That's my boy. That is my boy. Here, nail that wispy. So we're almost at an hour and a half. Let me let me try to get caught up real quick. Didn't know that. Trying to gain followers when I commented on the cancer patient's post about their journey. See, these algorithms they put in place are kind of jacked up. <clears throat> they really are. Last two minutes, I never got it back. I had to refollow and people refollow me. Uh, Perfue Addictos, he's had to do it like five times. He makes a new Instagram account every other day, it seems like. Instagram page lasted less than 14 days until they deleted it. Took my own pictures, wrote my own text. Nothing for sale. F Instagram. And the sad part is I like the app. I do. Apple Splash, uh, I gave an 8 out of 10, was it? Yeah, 8 out of 10. It's good. It's really good. Great, dare I say. That's why I gave it an eight. It's less afternoon splash, more apple brandy. It's warm, boozy, sweet, fruity. A little clean and musky, but I think the afternoon swim side of it lends the apple brandy DNA to be more wearable in warmer weather. But it definitely was not my favorite. It was my least favorite of the three. His version of Absolute Ventus, spot on, banger. But Grape 8, which is not going to be for everyone, 9.75. Nostalgia play here. 
or grape crush, grape slice, those different grape sodas, and grape bubble yum. I got it right here. Phenomenal. Love it. Now my favorite from him. Sounds great where it is. Thanks, sir. He, he posted in his uh, Facebook group about it today. No, no, I'm not doing any of that. Shout outs to Christopher Colon, <laughs> who does those. He does ASMR fragrance reviews. He's a good dude. He watches the channel. We, we talk here and there. Um, I, that's not my thing. <laughs> it's not my thing at all. Sorry, I'm getting loud. It's just, oof, that's not me. I don't, I don't do the ASMR stuff. I am. I don't do the TikTok style though. I'll, I just cross promote. Like I'll put my shorts videos because I'm a YouTube style creator. Like I do what works on YouTube, and I share it across Instagram Reels and TikTok. And it's just, eh. I got a little over eleven thousand followers on TikTok. Nothing crazy. Uh, now Cuba. He does TikTok specific stuff. He's been growing his. His. If you do this TikTok specific, there's ways. Like it's, if you want to, you can grow in TikTok. You can. If you want to put the time and effort into doing the trendy stuff and the formats that work for that, you'll grow it. There's tons of people that have 40, 50,000, 100, 200,000, half a million couldn't make it on fucking YouTube to save their life. I've checked their YouTube channels and it's nothing against them. It's just that style doesn't work on YouTube. Just like YouTube style doesn't work on TikTok. Very platform specific content creation. The cross promoting only works a little bit. You got to do stuff that caters to the app and the audience more, which I do the stuff that caters to the app and the audience here. It's exhausting enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? To then add daily stuff on TikTok already is too is just too much for me so i've just kind of like tapped out with tiktok i cross promote some stuff i don't really do anything specific to it so shout outs to those that that do and put their energy and effort into it like evan fragrance knowledge he's huge on tiktok he's huge on instagram too shout outs to him he's trying to grow his he's actively trying to grow his youtube now i've noticed he's been promoting go watch my video on youtube so shout outs to evan he's a good kid had many conversations with him he's a good kid so yeah, it's just what it is. It's platform to platform. There's different things that need to be done to grow said platform. Obviously, people gotta want to watch your shit. That's most important. It doesn't matter how much the app helps you. If nobody gives a shit, nobody gives a shit. So there's that. That's the most important. Gotta have some charisma. People gotta care about what you're saying, you know, or what they're seeing and hearing. <clears throat> I appreciate that, my man. Thank you. I wouldn't even necessarily say the realist at this point, though I did at one point. Um, I would say as far as uh, unapologetically authentic, I'll definitely put my myself up there on the Mount Rushmore for this community. And the funniest thing, I literally had an argument, mild argument with somebody on a shorts video early saying to just be myself. Just if you would really just be yourself, motherfucker. You don't know me from a hole in the wall, clearly. Please don't come back. Like I had to bite. I literally told him. Some of you maybe seen the conversation. It was like, no, no. The only thoughts I hold back are things I really want to say to people such as yourself in these situations. So I'll just say God bless you and have a nice day. When I literally wanted to tell him all the different ways he could go fuck a fence post. And I'm saying it here and now. So if you're watching this, that's what I really wanted to tell you. I'm... <clears throat> To clear my throat for this. I can't stand, can't stand when people insinuate or outright say that I'm not being myself and I'm being fake because that's the furthest fucking thing from the truth. Everything that comes out of my mouth on video, on a live stream is what I feel and say in the moment. I'm an in the moment guy. Clearly, this rant is in the moment. When I record a video, it's not scripted, it's structured, it's not scripted. I just go record, go. The transitions are just for presentation. I've covered this many times. I can't stand that. I can't stand when people say that. When people say that to me immediately, it's like, fuck you, don't come back. If you think I'm making shit up and lying, don't come back. You don't relate to me. Do not come back. I don't care about your view that much. It's not that serious. I can't stand that, guys. It's a pet peeve of mine. Like, don't you dare go there with me because I pride myself on keeping it real with people all the time. And I can't stand when people say I'm not. 
My opinions have never been bought and never will be. I get sick of hearing that shit. Do I make money on this on this platform? You fucking right I do. It's what I do full time. But I don't like there's no such thing as a bought opinion here. I do not do talking points. I refuse to do anything. If you come at me with talking points or things you'd like me to say, no, thank you. I don't need your fragrance. This is another thing I'm just going to reiterate one more time. We're going to move on. We do it my way, but we don't do it on my channel because what you guys think of me is what's most important to me. Not the bullshit people I was just talking about. My actual people that like me, support me, come back to this channel, watch videos often. You guys, what you guys think of me matters to me. My integrity matters to me. The trust you put in my opinion fucking matters to me. And I will not, I want to look into the camera when I say this, I will not, will not put that for sale. I will not jeopardize that over a fucking fragrance. There's your rant for the day. You always get at least one in my live streams. There's your rant. I was highly offended by this dude today. Because that, that pisses me off when people say that shit. Because it's so far from the truth. I don't care what names you want to call me, but don't sit here and say I'm lying to people because I'm fucking not. I can't stand it. Clip it, post it, twist it, whatever. It's the truth. There's your rant for the day, guys. For those of you that come here for those random rants, because some people do, I'm sure. There's your TLTG rant of the day. But thank you. I hope so. Man, I've put a lot of time into this. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Still not happy in the mirror, but are you ever? That body dysmorphia is part of bodybuilding. <laughs> it's just part of it. But I, I'm, working at, I'm working at it hard, man. It's getting harder and harder to not snack, <laughs> i got to say. But the end game. I haven't played in a little while. Little while. I've been itching, though. My, a couple of my guns are out. My Ego 11's right here. <laughs> and uh, my Proto Reflex Rail with my Die R2 loader. <laughs> a couple of things are out. I've been debating on going play because we're in such a hotbed for paintball. I got a field 20 minutes up the road, a badass field an hour and 10 minutes up the road, another one hour and 25 minutes up the road, another one 45 minutes that way. Paintball hotbed where I'm at. A lot of competitive paintball here. I haven't played in a while. I used to ref tournaments. I've never played a tournament myself, mostly rec ball, recreational play. But I was a, a tournament referee for a few years, many years ago. Uh, this is going to be, and I'm going to get back into it. I, I, The smart move for me is to wait till July and August after my competition when I'm eating calories again. Because my lower back shot. My knees are fucked. My elbows and shoulders are beat up low calorie. It's hard to recover. Bodybuilding beats you up, especially dieting for a competition and training harder than ever. It, it beats the shit out of you. So it would just be a bad move. It sounds, my wife said it today. I already know what you're going to do. You're going to go play. You're going to say, I can handle it. You're going to come back and be like, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have did that. I'm hurting so much. She's right. I played that scenario in my head like two days ago. I laughed. I was like, I totally, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. So as much as I've been wanting to play lately, I'm going to wait till, you know, mid to late summer and I'm going to go play. So it's funny that you bring up paintball. I've been back on a paintball kick lately and wearing some of my jerseys and all that just casually. I love paintball. Never gotten away from it completely. I'm, I'm in and out of paintball. I have been for years. My, since I was 10, I've been in, in and out of paintball. Same, man. We did a little over an hour, an hour and a half. We're hour 39 now. Let me try to catch a decent spot to stop. Y'all, you're asking some great stuff, guys. Plus, I had my rant. It took a minute. Uh, it's in Louisiana. Oh, I'm not trying to work on any pro cards. I'm doing it just for the love of it and the experience. Uh, both my first shows, first two shows are going to be in Louisiana. And then next year, I'm going to do something here in Florida. And then I'll reevaluate. I want to do a three-show circuit. Um, I'm doing the two. to get the experience June 1st and June 29th, both in Louisiana. And... Um, and then next year, this um, in the next summer, I'm going to do something here because I want to do a full off season with a different level of focus. 
um, coming off of competing, building from having been on been stage lean. Um, I want to go through that process and see where and how I can improve and do again. And then I'll reassess. Might be done with it. Might do it again the next year. I don't know. But that's the plan. It's like a two-year plan, basically, is how, how it is right now. Not sure exactly what that's from. What were you referencing? Ooh, that's a great one. Very versatile. Citrus, fruity, slightly earthy vetiver. More fresh than earthy because there's a little smokiness to it. But highly versatile fragrance. What about EQ? What about EQ? Uh, equality fragrances. That's what you're asking who he is? It's equality fragrances channel. Big savage black man. It's my guy. Very assertive and outspoken. That's my guy. Loud mouth like me. <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah, equality fragrances on YouTube. Fragrance friend for life. There you go. Yeah. So I'm going to be wearing that in the next two days. See, it's right there. I'm either wearing that tomorrow or I'm wearing Bad Boy Cobalt. I wore the Elixir yesterday. But I'm either wearing Paradise Garden tomorrow or Bad Boy Cobalt because I'm working on a video to compare it with the Elixir. <clears throat> so I want to give one more wearing to each of them. I know. It's not his. He, he's told me he doesn't like doing it on YouTube. The EQ thing was an exception because of the format. And like I told him, I totally get why he wanted to do the format. I was excited to do it, too. I know it is. I know it is. They're like the Thunderdome. I love my man Sarah's. I definitely do. It's going to be a fun one to do. It's just going to take a lot of time and effort. It really will. You have a great night, Esteban. Triton for Making Sense is a great Oceania clone. Yes, it is. It's definitely one of his best. He does. He sure does. Jeremy's huge on TikTok. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because it looks like based on the conversation, I'm actually pretty damn far behind. Be successful on YouTube. You need to learn how to make long form content and bring actual value in the form of bringing knowledge and entertainment and hold audience attention for longer than six seconds. True, but you can do ten, up to 10 minute videos on there now. But it's, it's a different audience on TikTok. It is. It's a different audience. I felt that. Appreciate you, my man. Oh, it's all good. It's not even like, I don't even think it's trolling. I think it's just people just thinking they can say what it like. The dude literally told me I live in the U.S. and I'm, I'm right to my opinions. I can say whatever I want. You're right. You in my yard, motherfucker. You want me to walk in your house and tell you what I think about you? You ain't going to like it. You know what you can do? You can kick me the fuck out of your house. I didn't block him. He's still welcome, but we had a spirited, you know. And his re reply to what I said about all the things I want to say, but I hold back. And I wished him, you know, God bless him and have a great day. And he said, uh, I know you do cupcake. And I said, thanks, Buttercup. And we just left it at that. And then here and now, I told you what I really wanted to say to him. And if he sees it, man, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to say to you, man. People come to my channel and think, oh, it's a comment section. I can say whatever I want. And it's my comment section. And I get flack for doing things the way I want in my comment section. People can't grasp that it's not a comment section. It's mine. I read my comments. It will be the way I want it. Or we won't see your comments anymore. You don't have to want to watch my channel and all this stuff. I get it. But if I get came at, bye-bye. If you say something stupid to me, bye-bye. It's just... I get a lot of shit for that, and I don't fucking care who doesn't like it. This is a big part of my life, and it will be handled the way I want it handled. It is mine. This isn't some free speech, you know, I, you should just take whatever I'm going to say. No, it's mine. This isn't a democracy. This is the TLTG Reviews channel. It's not that. <laughs> I'm all about free speech, but if you're going to be a, a shithead, bye. If you're going to say I'm I'm fake and lying, ho, ho, 10 times by motherfucker. I got mm, bite my tongue, <laughs> you know, and those of you that hang in the live streams, you get to hear this stuff. This is where you get this kind of stuff from me is the live streams. I cut loose a lot more here.
Appreciate that, Joel. <laughs> I'm the same dude. I curse that much more when the camera, when the broadcast ends, I just curse more because I got a potty mouth. So not a fence post. Now I know where I'm at in the conversation. Appreciate you, Jason. I appreciate that, my man. Standing on business. Yeah, now I know where I'm at. Got a shoot promo. It's always a shoot promo with me. That, see, I, that's what I'm saying. I know some of you are always waiting for it to happen because it's inevitable in every every stream when it's just me. That's inevitable. Sometimes when I have a guest, that happens too. Because again, we're on my channel. I'm not. I'm not going to not speak my mind. Some are going to like it. Some aren't going to like it. Some are going to laugh. Some are going to get offended. And that's just what it is. See, Roy even enjoys it. Appreciate that, Roy. Sometimes it's good to vent. Hey, look, I, I, I said the other day in a live stream, I'm like walking through the zoo getting shit flung at me by the by the gorillas and the apes and everything. And I'm just supposed to, oh, thank you for watching. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate your opinion. Oh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That's what's expected of me. And I'm not that guy. I just, I'm not that guy. All good. How about yourself? Good to see you, my man. Appreciate that, my man. Geo3. I've been looking at a Geo3.1. It's hilarious. Um, I actually just bought a Redline board. Like you can tell, I've been itching. I bought a Redline board for my Mini GS. I got a black and pink Mini GS as well from Empire. I just love that little gun. I just do. Um, I'm finally upgrading to the, the OLED uh, Redline board. I got that coming in. I bought that the other day. Like Actually, yesterday I bought it. So that'll be in in a couple of days. I might even do a video on my other channel. I think I'm going to, once I start playing again, I'm going a, I'm to a put my GoPro on my mask and I'll do some vlogs and shit. But my other channels, my other hobbies, and since I'm going to start playing again, I might as well do some paintball content. I do other shit on there anyway. It's not one specific niche on that channel. That's why it doesn't go anywhere. It's too much other shit. Like the algorithm, YouTube doesn't know where to put me on that channel. Outside of, uh, my JBL earbuds review that's got like almost 60,000 views outside of that. <laughs> they don't know what algorithm to put me on for anything. It was so reliable. I accidentally put the bolt in backwards and it still worked like normal. Damn. Yeah. Planet Eclipse. They are the best. They claim to be the best. They are the best. They are the best. I wouldn't mind getting a CS2. I don't want to spend CS3 money, but I wouldn't mind. Looks, my guns are older, you know, GO11. Came out a while back. Still a great gun, though. It's a phenomenal gun. Same thing with my Proto Reflex Rail. Proto's not even a thing no more. That was Dye's slightly more affordable brand. It's still a Dye gun. And then my Mini GS. It's one of the newer Mini GSs when they started coming with the two-piece barrels. Um, and the front grip. It's not like the Invert Mini style from many years ago. It's a newer one. I bought it like... I forgot how many years ago. I've had it for a while. Um, but I've been itching to play, man. I wish I still had my Angel LCD, though. I had a Dark Angel LCD. I wish I wouldn't have sold it. I sold it like um, five or six years ago. I wish I wouldn't have. Had the Color Match Boomstick and some other Color Match black Barrels. I shouldn't have sold it. But I could say that about my Bob Long Defiant. I could say that about my FX Autococker. I could just go on and on. I've had so many paintball guns over the years. My Shocker Eclipse Shocker Select Fire, the old shoebox style with the uh, standard feed. That didn't even have power feed or vert feed. It was standard old shocker. Man, that was a good gun. Any of you that know paintball know exactly what I'm the Greek that I'm speaking right now. Healthy like a body. Bodybuilder is not about being healthy. Hell no. Actual bodybuilding when it comes to competition, it's not the healthiest thing to do to your body. <laughs> Thank you, man. Ah, sorry about that, Bob. I had nothing to do with it. I promise. So I'm saying, I just easy. My reply to him when he's like, this guy seems to like everything. Like it wasn't real hateful what he said at first. It was when he accused me of being fake. Where I was like, mm, go fuck yourself. Um, I forgot what I said. Something about if you're looking for negativity, you need to go elsewhere. Um, hell, I'll just read to you what I said so I don't misquote. 
because it was quick. It was, where is it at? This guy likes everything, seems like. I said, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Find some joy in life, man. If you're looking for negativity, look elsewhere. And more than, than it, just, mm, then he just rubbed me the wrong way when he, he insinuated. You might you might try being yourself for once and saying your real opinion unless you're sponsored and say no more. It's like, oh, you motherfucker. Ooh, you just, you just scratched the pet peeve, you motherfucker. <laughs> you know, right when you said, like, you were good till that last sentence. You don't look like a Gen Xer. And like, I was cool with whatever else he was saying in that, that look, his rebuttal, but it was, mm, until he got to the accusation of me being fake, that's when he lost me. That's when he lost me. And I was still very nice about it. But here and now, I told you guys what I was really thinking. Because, yeah, that is the thing that I hold back. I hold back what I really want to say. And the thing is, I get a lot of shit for how I reply to comments. Boy, if you only knew what I really want to say to some people. What I said here in this live stream tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, boy. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> like I just spin right into it. Oh, I haven't gotten that fragrance yet. Eventually I will. We're definitely stopping at the two-hour mark. So we're nine, eight minutes away. Let's see. That would be hilarious. There's a few people that are that are coming that are viewers. Like Ryan was asking about going to Sinbad and Rouge, my first one. The one on the first. EQ is awesome. Yeah, I've done a bunch of stuff with him. I've been on his channel. He's been on my channel. Hell, we got a live stream that's got over 200,000 views on my channel. If you go to my, click live on my channel page and click popular, it's the second highest viewed live stream. Me, him, and George. It was mostly me and him. But uh, George was on for like an hour. It was like a three and a half hour stream. The most viewed ones, me and Justin, it's 300 and something thousand views. But um, yeah, it's like 214, 215,000. Well, me and EQ, he's been on a few other streams with me. He's been in collaboration videos with me. I've been in live stream, a bunch of live streams on his channel. That's my boy. We talk. I haven't talked to him in two or three weeks, but when we talk, we talk for a while. We talk for a long time. Hmm. Burlington Gardens. Never heard of that one. Yeah, for sure. That came in today for me as well. I didn't even know it was coming. Sonny didn't even tell me, hey, man, I'm sending you the new fragrance. It just showed up today. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just do a regular video on that one. I got Niles' new fragrance came in, by the way, too. I picked it up Saturday. Um, it was in my P.O. box. And I just happened, I was out in the area by the post office. So I stopped and picked it up. So I got um, Barcelona came in from Niles. I think I'm going to just do a regular video on that one, too. Instead of doing them in a live stream together, I think I'm just doing an individual recorded video for those. Probably work on those for tomorrow, actually. That'll be the content I do for tomorrow. Yeah, let me know if the package comes in tomorrow, Randy, so we can see if we got to move the stream. I'm hoping we can still do it tomorrow. Have a good night. We've got a few more minutes. Let me try to get caught up. I've never done anything with Darian. I'd like to, though. We've had some conversations in the past. We like each other's stuff here and there, but I haven't. we haven't had like a long conversation, but I like Darian. I'd be down to do something with Darian. I like him. No, it is not, but people feel it is. This rant rocks. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Good. Definitely get the bergamot and green apple. Articulate. My age and generation driven. Seemed like a guy I'd hang out with. Appreciate that. We all like fragrances. Do your thing, man. I appreciate that, Keith. That's the people I like to like to watch on YouTube as well as people I'd like to hang out with. Pretty much what it comes down to. We have a similar outlook. Noted. Yes. Well, it'll be it'll be available in the U.S. But um, the last round that we did last week, I want to say it was we did a stream. He, we talked about it for a little bit. He's probably, last time we talked about it, probably waiting for the four ounce to be ready. He's waiting on the plates. And he'll release the restock of the two ounce with the four ounce, which is probably like next month. Maybe at the end of this month, but probably next month is, is my understanding. Obviously, if, as that updates he, and I find out more, like as it changes, I'll let you guys know. Appreciate you, sir. Kitchy K, good to see you. Let's see. I appreciate your opinion on fragrances. This helped me on which to try and buy. Well, I appreciate that, Brian. 
Let's see. Let's see, you do really good in the competition and want to step up to the next level. You consider take I'm on TRT. I'm not natural. Never been. I haven't been natural in years. You just haven't been around for those live stream conversations. <laughs> yeah, I'm not natural. <clears throat> And no, I'm not trying to go pro level. I'm not trying to shave years off my life, life with that level of gear and everything. I'm, I'm good. I'll pass. You know, I'm not looking to make a career of it. I'm good. It's just a bucket list thing, something I always wanted to do when I was younger and I have the time. It's made me that much busier, but I live in the gym anyway for the last several years. So it's like a bucket list thing wife was on board support systems in place my mom was even on board of all things but she's got a very sour taste for bodybuilding um so yeah so that's why i did it but no i'm not natural i haven't been natural for over three years about three years roughly i've been on test for a long time now trt specifically <clears throat> So I don't like anybody questioning my character. See, that's the thing, the questioning of my character. That's the pet peeve. I don't like that shit because I pride myself on my character. Chris, good to see you. Jifsada Ambassador received yesterday from your recommendation. Love this stuff. Keep it real, Ross. I appreciate the super chat. That's a phenomenal release. I can't wait for Platinum, their new release. They keep doing little tease posts on Instagram. I can't wait to get my bottle. I can't wait to check it out. I haven't looked at any notes, but I have a feeling it's going to be great because Ambassador and Ambassador Intense is great and it's in the same bottle. Even though it, I don't think it's part of the Ambassador line, but it's in the same bottle as those. Bottle number nine, I love it. Okay, saying hello to everyone. No bishop or hidden gems presence. Miss not seeing all my fragrance brothers. I'm kind of surprised the bishop's not in here. He must be busy. And then Jim's probably, he's, he's been having some stuff going on. So I've never played Frisbee golf. They had a course by where we used to go uh, hike when I was in Colorado Springs. We used to see people playing all the time, me and the wife. So we, that was our thing. We'd always go on hikes when we were in Colorado Springs. Pretty much the only thing we miss about it was the hikes because <laughs> we had the mountains everywhere. Yes, sir. We got three more minutes and I'll shut it down. I appreciate that. Roy, thank you for joining us. Go get you some rest, my man. Thanks for coming. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Have a great night. Ah, okay. So it's their version of Burlington 1819. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because the Ross said so. <laughs> I actually made it to the bottom, so let me get caught up real quick. Hey, it's actually a good interpretation. Wife's a big fan of it. I wore it about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. I had it in rotation. I wore it. It's good. It's close enough. I mean, it's not as good, but I mean, of course not. It's not as good as the original, but it shouldn't be, <laughs> right? But it does a good job. It does smell good. My pleasure, Luis. Thanks for coming hang, man. I'm going to have to check it out, too. Dior Dune. Classic. I've never smelled it, but I've heard good things. Guerlain EDP. The old school bottle. That would be watching. Right, proud of you. I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate that. Jean Lo Immortal. We actually made it to the bottom. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. I appreciate everybody hanging. Thank you for those that gave super chats. Um, Anybody that was interested in checking out Making Sense, I do have a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't have a code or anything like that. Um, Dinsmore didn't share a code because I guess he doesn't have anything active. I did ask in the stream. He didn't put anything in the chat. So I guess he doesn't have any active codes at the moment. Um, but just to recap, Grape Ape, 9.75 out of 10. It's officially my favorite from him. His version, Maximum Absolute, Maximum Absolute, Maximus Absolute. His version of Creed Absolute Aventus, 9.5, because it's, it's pretty spot on. I gave Absolute Aventus a 9.5. Figured it deserved the same grade because it smells the same. And then Apple Splash, Apple Brandy meets Afternoon Swim. Pretty good. Not the best of the three. Pretty good stuff, though. Eight out of ten. Um, but this is the one. You got to like grape, though. If you don't like grape, you will hate it. If you like grape, ooh, are you in for a treat? Grape soda mixed with grape bubble gum. So good. So good. 90s childhood kind of aroma. So good. Blockbuster night. Reminds me of snacks on a blockbuster night. Yeah. So make sure to like this stream before you leave. Check out today's video if you haven't yet. Be on the lookout for tomorrow's content. Um, not setting up the live stream for tomorrow yet. We did a decant swap. Myself, Randy, and Dedrick. Got to see if Randy's package is going to make it in time tomorrow. Supposed to. If not, we'll be moving it. 
uh, later in the week and we'll just do something else. We'll do, we're still going to stream tomorrow. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. If it is with them, it's later in the day. It's uh, going to be six o'clock central, seven o'clock Eastern. If it ends up getting moved and it's just me, it'll be four or five o'clock central like we usually do tomorrow. So appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Have a good one.